<clears throat> All right, yet another fun one. Here's number 10 from tonight's homework. Uh, three variables system. Now, on your homework tonight, some of them it says solve by substitution, others solve by elimination. Like I said in the last lesson, it's good to know how to do both, but when it comes down to it, you can solve them any way that you want, as long as you're getting right answers while she is happy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you something we haven't talked too much about while we also solve this problem. I'm going to do it by elimination again, and I'm going to choose to eliminate the x's. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, match up the red and the blue equation. And I'm going to leave the blue equation as is, namely 2x minus y plus 2z equals negative 7. But with the red equation, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. I'm going to multiply everything by 2. That gives me negative 2x plus... 4y minus 8z equals 10. Now when I combine these equations, if I were to subtract like we've been doing, I would get 2x minus 2 more x and have negative 4x's. But since these have the same coefficient with opposite signs, I could eliminate the x's by simply adding them together. And that's always an option to you. You can make them have opposite signs and add them, or the same sign and subtract, either one. In this instance, some people like adding a lot better. When I add them together, the x's disappear. Negative y plus 4y gets you 3y. 2z plus negative 8z gets you negative 6z. And negative 7 plus 10 gets you 3. All right. So far, so good. We're down to two variables. Now we just have to pick a different combo besides blue and red. So I could go blue and orange. I could go red and orange. Honestly, just because of the space, I'm going to go red and orange. I'm going to write the red one right underneath the orange one. Negative x plus 2y minus 4z equals 5. And again, since the x's have opposite signs, and it's very important to eliminate the same variable that we eliminated next time or it doesn't give us much progress. But since the x's have opposite signs, I'm going to go ahead and add the two equations together. x plus negative x, no more x's. 4y plus 2y, 6y. Negative 6 plus negative 4, in other words, I'm adding more negatives, I'm getting more negative, negative 10 z and negative 1 plus 5 gets me up to 4. I now have one equation that has a y and a z, a second equation that has a y and a z, so I'm going to try to match them up. I'm going to decide in this instance to eliminate the y's. I'm going to do that by multiplying this entire equation by 2. That would get me 6y minus 12z equals 6. Now be careful, these have the same sign now, so I'm going to subtract. The last two times I added because they had different signs. Some people would prefer to multiply this equation by negative 2. That way the y's would have opposite signs and I could simply add. Either one is fine, as long as you stay consistent. 6y minus 6y, no more y's negative 10, and I take away negative 12, I take away more negatives than I even had, that gets me up to a positive, positive 2 in fact. Some people like to say subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. Overall it is. And then 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Dividing both sides by 2, I got that z equals negative 1 one-third of the way there. Technically way further than one-third of the way there, at least time-wise, but that's one-third of the answer. I'm now going to go back into any equation that had two variables. It looks like this is the simplest one, the one that said 3y minus 6z equals 3. And I'm going to plug into that the value from z I just got, which was negative 1. 
That gets me 3y. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6 equals 3. Subtracting 6 from both sides, 3y equals negative 3. Dividing both sides by 3, y equals negative 1. Two thirds of my answer. Now I can go back into any equation, any equation, probably one of my original three, and plug in negative 1 for both y and z. I'm going to go ahead and use the red one. Doesn't matter much, and in this, there's there's nice things about each equation in this one, but I'm going to stick with the red one. I'm going to say negative x, negative x plus two y minus four z equals five. But again, I know that my y value is negative one, and my z value is negative one. That gets me that negative x. Positive 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4 equals 5. Negative x, combining negative 2 and positive 4, I get positive 2 equals 5. I'm now going to subtract 2 from both sides. Negative x equals 3. And finally, dividing by negative 1, x equals negative 3. That's the last piece to the puzzle, and I get a final answer of negative 3, comma, negative 1, comma, negative 1. That's x, y, z. Yay!